Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and this is episode 2 of Android Customization and it is all about icon packs. In the last video here on the channel I was using my Google Pixel 5 to let you guys know exactly how to use launchers and when they may come in handy. Well I use Nova Launcher and if you watch that video I set up kind of very quickly but now I've got it all set up exactly how I want to use it and what we're going to be doing today is installing some icon packs, seeing exactly how they work, why you may want to use them and just in general starting to customize Android again. So. Let's take a look. Okay guys, so first off then we have my Nova Launcher setup. As always, I'm using my Google Pixel 5. I've got my screen recording right here. And as you can see, I've now got Nova Launcher set up exactly how I want it to look. Now, yes, don't get me wrong, it has a very stock Android look and feel to it, but that's kind of what I like to go for on my Android device currently. Now, don't get me wrong, in the future, once we get deeper into this series, I'm gonna be really customizing Android and making it look like a completely different operating system if I can. So again, if you're not subscribed be sure to hit that subscribe button down below but for today it's all going to be about icon packs so let's take a look at some icons so the easiest way to do this is to head over to the play store and simply just type in icon pack or icons whichever one you want to use and then as you can see here you've got a ton of icon packs that come up now you are going to have a load of free icon packs now these ones normally don't have as many custom icons the quality may not be as good as some of the paid ones and just in general how often they update them may not be as good as if you're paying someone to actually do it so what i would recommend is i would actually go for more of the paid icon packs main reason being it supports the developer you'll get faster updates and in a lot of cases the icon packs themselves look a little bit better than some of the free options so one that i really like the look of is the crayon icon pack so as you can see here if i just click on the pictures you can see it's got a very minimalistic look and feel black outlines kind of pastel sort of colors so this one's one that i actually like so again all you have to do is click on install now unlike some other applications or launchers it's not then going to work kind of straight off the bat you do need to go in and tweak a couple of things to actually make them appear on your home screen now i'm also going to get another one as well just to kind of show you guys how it looks so this one here is a white icon pack so as you can see from these pictures very simple everything's white not really too much detail but again it looks really nice as well over a million downloads for that one as well so again this one is more for customizing android exactly how you want it to look now with icon packs one of the great things about them is you don't have to use the whole icon pack if you don't want to so if you only want to icon your home screen icons for example and skin those and make them look how you want then you can do and then everything in your application drawer will look normal so again allowing you to really customize it to your look and feel so once we go home, you can see that I've got my icon pack on here at the moment. This is just these stock icons that come with the Pixel Launcher. Now don't get me wrong, they are kind of skinned in a way because they do have adaptive icons on. Now what that basically means is it's going to do its best to actually make all the icons look the same by putting them in circles like you would get on the Pixel Launcher. Now don't get me wrong, like my smart light bulb one in between my calendar and camera for example, doesn't necessarily look amazing, but every other icon looks really nice. Some of them however don't skin so you can see snapseed there hasn't skinned and then we've also got bitlet in the top right hand corner there as well so again it does its best but it's not necessarily perfect now to install a custom icon pack all you need to basically do again long press on your home screen and head into your settings now you're then going to find the look and feel option and then right at the very top there you've got the icon style now like i've mentioned in a previous video it may be slightly different depending on the launcher that you're going to be using but all you need to basically do is try and look for the icon pack section and that's where it's going to allow you to change it now obviously you can do that on some stock launchers like the oneplus launcher for example but if you're using a samsung device pixel lg it's kind of hard if not impossible to change the icons so using a launcher is one of the only ways to do it so again if you go into the icon theme you can see here that you've got the options for the adaptive icons you can reshape legacy icons and change them about as you need to and then the icon theme there once you click on that, it's going to bring up all of your icon packs that you've got installed. Now, some people have hundreds of icon packs installed. For me, I've just picked these two to start off with. So if I first click on the crayon icon pack, it's first off going to give you a preview at the top there where the icons were beforehand. And then when you swipe up to go home, you can see that all of your icons have changed. Now, because of the way that I've done that through the actual settings themselves, it's going to change all of the icons, even the ones in my application drawer. And this is actually a really nice look and feel. Now, obviously, I do have the dark theme on so it will look slightly differently if you're using a lighter theme for example but these icons here look really nice and i'm pretty sure if i have a quick look through 
all of them are skinned. Now, don't get me wrong, not all of them have actually changed to the Crayon Icon Pack. So for example, if we go to Nova Launcher there, you can see that it hasn't actually changed the actual look of the icon. It's just done its best to kind of merge it into the actual Icon Pack itself. And again, I think it's done a pretty good job. And then again, if we go back into the settings here, go to look and feel, go to the icon style, icon theme, change it to white icons. So this is basically going to change them to those white icons that I mentioned beforehand. Again, if I go back to my home screen, you can see here how that has changed. And again, just how it changes the whole look of your home screen setup. Now, when I go into my application drawer, again, looking really nice. And this one does a really good job of masking those icons that aren't actually covered under the icon pack. So again, the crayon icon pack here, for example, that you can see in between contacts and Deliveroo, that one isn't actually themed, but they've changed it to black and white. So it fits in extremely nice there. So again, this one, very minimal. If you're the kind of person that knows the icons based on maybe the color of the icon, it's very easy to find. This might not be for you, but if you do want a very minimal look and feel, again, using that dark theme, it actually looks extremely nice, even on the home screen here. Now, don't get me wrong, I would probably use a darker wallpaper, if not a black and white wallpaper with this icon pack, but overall, it gives it a really nice look and feel. But what if you don't actually want to change every single icon on your home screen? Well, that can actually be really easy to do. It can be a little bit time consuming depending on how many icons you want to skin. But again, if you just long press on the home screen, go into settings. What I'm first going to do is just revert the icons back to the built in icons that I've got on my actual system itself. Go back to my home screen to make sure that's taken effect. And again, you can also see how instant and fast that is as well. So now all of my icons are back to the pixel icons. Now the easiest way to do this is just a long press on the icon itself. Now you're gonna see the options here to remove it from my home screen, application info, and also edit as well. So again, go into the edit options. You can change what the actual icon itself is called. So for me, I'm more of a fan of just plain Amazon. So if I wanted to do that, I've got the option to do so. And then if you press on the icon to the right hand side, you can see here that it brings up the different icon packs that you may have installed. So for me, if I go to icons, in most cases, what it does is it searches through and finds the application that you need and puts it at the top of the list. If not, you can just scroll through to find any icon that you may need to use. So for this one, if I just click on Amazon and then click on Done, you can see that that icon there has changed. And if I go into my application drawer, it's exactly the same. That one is the older style of the icon. So again, if you do want to only change the icons on your home screen, then you do have the option to do so. And this also allows you to mix and match different icon packs as well. So for example, if I next go to Instagram, go onto the edit options, click on the icon pack, go to the crayon icon pack. So for this one, I'm going to use the crayon, click on Done again. And then you can see there that I've got the icons for the Amazon app, and then the Instagram app is the crayon icon pack. So again, you can customize it pretty much any way that you want to. And if you go back into it again, and then you can actually click on it, and then go back to the standard icon, click done. Same for Amazon, edit, click on the icon, standard icon, and click done. And then you're back to your standard home screen. Now, don't get me wrong, some icon packs are definitely built better than others. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. But what I want you guys to do is let me know in the comments section below what is your favorite icon pack so that everyone else can have a look at it. So if they're new to Android customization or if they've been doing it for ages but they don't know about a specific icon pack, let them know in the comments below so they can try it out for themselves. And that's going to do it for how to use icon packs on Android and Android customization episode two. Now I'm going to have all the episodes linked down below. So launchers being the first one, icon packs being this one. And in the next episode, we're going to be going on to widgets on your home screen. Now these aren't going to be the simple widgets. So for example, I've got the at a glance widget here on my Pixel 5. These are going to be slightly more in-depth widgets. You might have to resize them. You may even have to edit them yourselves. So we'll get into some more advanced widget options moving forward. If if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a thumbs up down below if you've got any questions or comments about anything to do with android customization let me know in the comments below or on twitter at copper versus glass if you're not already subscribed for this series hit that subscribe button down below and once you've done that turn on notifications so you're notified anytime i post a new video here on the channel i'm michael from copper versus glass thanks very much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video